everybody welcome back to the channel so we're on site i am here to take updates on this particular building that i know is becoming everybody's favorite because we've seen the feedback coming we've seen the comments they're always asking okay what's happening what's happening so we're going to be giving you all the updates and then look at the stage that we're at today i'm joined by director of engineers desmond and he's going to be telling us what's going on today i'm seeing so many things i'm seeing boards i'm seeing rods sir hi good afternoon good afternoon welcome again to thank you our site yeah yes and um, it's a privilege to have you here so like you mentioned earlier on you are seeing so many bots yes please so i'm going to talk about a few things that you're seeing here okay so ideally when you lay blocks so okay. this is a block and you start laying them yes please um one will say they become flyers if i push the wall at that stage it should fall okay but at this time, it's not able to fall again. Right. Because we have the pillars holding them okay. together. Okay. So the rods you are seeing, this is what we call reinforced vibrated concrete. Vibrated concrete. Exactly. Okay. We need to vibrate it because we don't want to have pores. Now look at this block very well. You can see some pores in it, yes, though it was please. vibrated. Oh. So in the concrete, which I've always explained, serves as more like the spine of the building. Exactly. You wouldn't want to have holes or pores within it. Okay. So suppose we vibrate it, okay. concrete. So that see. is what we have here now. Right. They are fully casted. You can hear the sound. Fully casted. We are just waiting for two more days for it to be able to set. Okay. And then we will pull the boards out. Right. That's interesting. Exactly. And after you pull the boards, what's going to happen next? So when we pull the boards, we are done with this stage, which is the first superstructure. Okay. But there are a few things again I will want to bring to your Touch attention. On. Right. Because after this, on top of the block wall, yes, we are going to place what they call a beam, a beam. Or we call tie beam. Tie beam. Okay. Yes. What's its use? Now, the word tie is to join together. Exactly. So all the pillars that are standing now, they will need to join together. Okay. All of them. All of them. Right. We need to join them together. Okay. It's the beams that are going to join them together. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the beams going to do? The beams are going to serve as our shoulders. Okay. You realize that in the architecture of God, mm -hmm. if I stand this way, yeah. I don't have any pain here. Mm -hmm. It's only when I raise my hands. Okay. If my hands are this way, you I are don't relaxed. really have a problem. Yeah. I'm relaxed. Yeah. The building needs to be relaxed as well. Okay. So the beams mm -hmm. connecting to, to the spine, the pillars or the columns. Okay. Then the building is stronger than it's supposed to be. Right. And when we, once we do that, we're also going to now have the first floor slab. When we get there, mm -hmm. I'll be giving you more details. Okay. What goes into it. Okay. The various types of mm -hmm. slabs that we have. Um, why we have to choose what we will choose. Exactly. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about in situ precast concrete. In situ? In situ. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> the concrete here is yeah. called cast in situ. Cast in situ. Yes, that is okay. fresh concrete and then you pour it into it. It's called right. cast in situ. Okay. Precast means that the concrete is done somewhere mm -hmm. and then you transport it onto the site. Okay. So we're talking about all of them. All right. And then I also told you about the Reinforced concrete, exactly. Mass concrete, mm -hmm. weak concrete. Mm -hmm. um, I will be explaining again. We can't uh, wait. We yeah. think that if you go and watch our other previous the videos, previous ones, exactly. I spoke about them. Go there, go watch. Guys, the videos are up on the channel. So. <laughs> I wanted for how long was this left to cure? All right, so these were casted yesterday. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. And ideally, we are supposed to leave it for maybe a week. Every, for it okay. to, to cure. Okay. But uh, there are various factors. You look at mm -hmm. the weather conditions. Right. Uh, at this time, it's a bit rainy. Okay. So we are able to balance it mm -hmm. and all. Make and again, work. the client wants us to quickly start with the decking. Sure. So we are going to look at all that and then the decking will fly on it. Wonderful. But I want to speak to you about last time I saw people asking about pipes, types of pipes. Yes. When to use them. Exactly. Coming uh, to it. The one that I know, mostly when I watch videos videos on pipes, I see the green one, but I'm seeing that you, you used this particular one. What was the reason for this choice and what does it signify? Okay. Now we have various pipes. Right. We have metallic, mm -hmm. 
we have plastic. Okay. And if you go and check a video Sakodia did in the office, right. he spoke about what PVC means. Exactly. And what PPR means. Exactly. Yeah. But for the purposes of domestic buildings, mm -hmm. I will only speak to two things. Okay. That is PPR and PVC pipes. Okay. What now, do we have now? This is a PVC pipe. Okay. And this is what we call a pressure pipe. Pressure pipe, yes. We have class B, mm -hmm. class C, mm -hmm. class D. Okay. What are, what are the differences between okay, them? Okay, the difference is with the thickness. Right. Which is the thickest? Now, we the C and the D are all thicker than the B. Okay. Yes. And so we always use the highest form. And I will explain something again. Some people, unfortunately, use class O. Uh -huh. Class O pipes are not supposed to be used in buildings. Okay. So watch this. You can see the pipe has protruded a bit outside. Yes, please. Now, what is happening is that there is a chemical reaction between the material here, which is the mortar and the pipe. And the pipe, yeah. Now, this chemical reaction if a building is supposed to last minimum 75 years, yeah. maximum 100 years, mm -hmm. this reaction is going to go on for the next 75 years. Right. So why would you compromise on the thickness of the pipe? Of the pipe. If you compromise, you are going to create problems. Yeah. Now again, you, you, you see the joint. Yes. There's a reason why we go for this. The joint has to be well fitted deep in. Okay. It has to be well glued. Some plumbers will tell you, oh, guess when I fix it in, I know it's supposed to be, see, I cannot even shift. Yeah. You need to ensure the glue is properly done. So that it's solid. It's solid it's because exactly. the pipe is supposed to be seen as one. Okay. You see this joint here? Yes. It's a bit different from what we are seeing there. Mm -hmm. it, there's a reason why in the architecture of the pipes, we have this here as well. Yeah. So we need to be careful. Don't play with pipes. Exactly. Don't play with cables. Okay. I'm not going to make an advert, mm -hmm. but I'm going to say this. Right. And uh, pardon me if I'm making an advert for <laughs> any company. That's okay. Do not use any cable mm -hmm. apart from cable metal. Cable metal? Yeah. Okay. They are trusted brands in Ghana. Right. Somebody will tell you, I want to use the British type. Mm -hmm. I want to use the Turkish type. People always want options. <laughs> Please go for only cable metal. They are the they are trusted. They are made in ones. Ghana. Most okay. durable, made in Ghana. Wow, I see. Because of heat, I will, in fact, I will take time. Mm -hmm. I will talk about uh, electricals, the types of wires, exactly. uh, the sizes, mm -hmm. and all, so that when you are able to. to when we get to that point, exactly. I will explain all that. Okay. But now we'll talk about pipes. The pipes. Is there a reason why it was joined? Like, I think somebody was trying to find out why didn't it just go directly through? Why was it joined? Together? Okay. So, we have joints mm -hmm. in pipes. Okay. And sometimes you cannot do without them. Okay. No matter what you do, this pipe cannot travel all the way. All the way up. So, let's imagine you are having a 16 uh, uh, floor. Okay. You cannot say you are using just one. Just one throughout. It cannot, exactly. it cannot there be. has to be a joint. There will always be a joint somewhere. Okay. So the joint is usually not a problem. That's why you have okay. to be, you have to ensure that the joints are properly done. Right. And let me also say this. Some people will tell you, these pipes are not going to carry any pressure because this is supposed to be the wash hand basin. When you wash your hands, <laughs> the water is supposed to flow through it. Some of them are supposed to carry rain water. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the wash hand basin. Right, down here. This is the, what to carry the fecal matter. Right, the WC. The WC. Okay. Okay. So this is perhaps it will be carrying rainwater from mm -hmm. the roof. All the way down. Yeah. So when somebody will be asking, it rains just uh, between two, three months in a year. What's, Why do I have to Yeah, there's no use, pressure. Uh, yes. Yeah. But it is also because you want it to last the test of well, time. Exactly. So these things are very important. I see. Now when it comes to service lines. Mm -hmm. Service lines. lines. Okay. When you open your tap, mm -hmm. the water that flows. Yeah. I would advise only go for PPR pipes, okay. not PVC pipes. Okay. Can you tell us the difference between the two and why you choose to go for PPR? Okay. With a PVC, mm -hmm. we have to use glue. Yeah. 
Okay. With the PPR, it does not require glue. Right. What happens is that you, there's a, a machine you have to hit. Mm -hmm. When it gets hotter, you mm -hmm. push the pipe into it. Okay. And then you fit it. Mm -hmm. So because part of the pipe will melt in, it's able it to fuses. It fuses so you are, you, are, you are going to melt the two ends and they will join together. Right. So it so becomes one full. It becomes one full pipe. Okay. 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 And in previous times, we, were ha we have to use, uh, when we are using the hot water system. Exactly. We have to go for metals. We're using metal pipes. We're right. using, we don't no longer use them. Okay. The PPR is made such that mm -hmm. you are able to use it for both hot water and cold, and cold water. water. Oh, I see. So it's the better option. Exactly. And we have various sizes. Mm -hmm. PN16, PN20. Right. I'm not going to give you all of them <laughs> for now. That's but fine. I'll take my time again. Mm -hmm. I will talk about the various sizes, various types, where to use them. Okay. And, and all. But I'm only saying that we normally, you can blend. Okay. But as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. I've stopped using PVC for pressure or for service lines. For service lines. I only okay. use PPR. PV. PPR. Exactly. I see. Guys, so now you know what to go for when you're doing particular fittings for your pipes in your building so you don't inter uh, interchange them and have situations in the future. So, sir, where we're standing now, where's this? This is supposed to be the visitor's washroom or what, 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 what we call the powder room. The pow okay, the powder room. Yes. <laughs> So when we move from the powder room, we are right here. Uh -huh. I see a pipe right there. Exactly. Would it be showing uh, at the end of the day? No. Okay. It will not show. This whole place is going to be covered. You oh. see, there's a lot of stuff we hide there. This pipe is only for the powder room. Okay. Now, purposes of construction. Yeah. You would wa also want to protect the pipe a bit. Mm -hmm. So we keep it this way for the meantime. Right. At the time we are getting into closing up plastering and mm -hmm. all, they will all close up because we will not be able to join the pipes because this one's supposed to have a bend yeah. to push it outside. Okay. So it's, it's not going to show in here. I find it how in, uh, very, very interesting that they are all you know covered up at the end of the day. So in the near future, let's say somebody doesn't see our video and then doesn't get to find out you know some of these lessons you're given and they use the wrong pipes for the wrong reason. If something happens and maybe the pipes get fractured, what do they go about? How do they go about it? In fact, there's, let me also say this for this question. Yeah. And I will want to be very emphatic. Mm -hmm. It is very expensive right. to renovate. Okay. So you would always have to choose the right kind of materials yeah. to use right at the at the verge of construction. Okay. For example, you see this pipe. Mm -hmm. It has gone through the concrete. Okay. Outside. Yeah. Now in the parlor room, mm -hmm. it's going to receive plaster. Yeah. It's going to receive screening. Mm -hmm. It's going to receive tiling. Yeah. Both on the floor and on the wall. Okay. Once there's a fracture, you have to remove the towels. Wow. After removing the towels, if it has gone under, you have to okay. chisel the concrete bed. Wow. To be able to do the repair over there. Again, let me say this. When it comes to towels, I've not gotten there yet. Yeah. You realize that towels are seasonal. Okay. So you may not get the same towel you used exactly. for your building two years back. That's how come it you means have... You have to remove everything wow. and retail. And that's expensive. Very expensive. It's very expensive to repair. So do the right thing now. Interesting. Okay, so I think we've already told them the positions and the rooms and the layouts and everything in the, sub in the previous videos. So can we go check out the studio? Okay. Right, here we are. When we were speaking earlier, you mentioned something that I found quite interesting. You said this whole platform will go lower. Exactly. Can you please explain to our audience why? Okay, so we always have what we call a step up or a step down. Yeah. Stand here. Right here. That's a step up. You are now higher or taller than I am. Yes. <laughs> Come down. Right. That's six inches. Okay. <clears throat> we are supposed to have a stair over here. Okay. So that when you, you move, you move onto a stair. Mm -hmm. Supposed to move onto another one again. 
Okay. Before you hit the ground itself. Right. All these are uh, materials we picked from the hardcore field because they were a bit too much. Right. So when we were about doing the we were doing the compaction, we had to bring them bring out. Bring them here, okay. So eventually, when we are done, we're going to clear all this from here so that we get the actual land that because these are all materials this is what i always call the step soil the step soil right yes so they yeah. are all materials that we have heaped here mm -hmm. including the debris from broken blocks and yeah. all so that's what we are, we are saying here okay so it will all be cleared it will, it will all be cleared so can you imagine in the near future yeah look at the connection from here mm -hmm. going through the concrete over here yeah we screw this place mm -hmm. we tile the tile place, it and we don't use the right kind of pipe hmm. and this is from the kitchen from the kitchen what happens is that we may have to cut here cut the whole concrete mm -hmm. and don't forget that we have rods over here right exactly i was gonna come to that we have rods over, over here over there as well so you have to cut through the the rods wow before you are able to get the pipes that's a lot of work exactly so you do the right thing now mm -hmm. don't compromise on cost yeah compromise on quality Perfect. so that you are said. able to get exactly what you want. What you want. The studio is right here. Um, I will hide a few things for now. Okay. You can see it now. <laughs> there is a staircase here. Right. Or, uh, that's the, the stairwell, the sorry. Stairwell. Okay. We have a studio in here. There's a washroom at the back. Okay. I'll give you all of them okay. in subsequent videos. Right. I want to now move to the next stage, which mm -hmm. is the decking. Mm -hmm. uh, the client is uh, putting himself together. So very soon, okay. the decking will come flying on all of them. Then we'll now talk about the various beams. Okay. We'll talk about hidden beams, mm -hmm. drop down beams, mm -hmm. and all we want to explain everything for everybody to be able to understand okay well thank you so much for the run through for today thank you for giving us clarity on pipes i think everybody that watches this video can know some of the differences between them and what to use for what purposes yeah. so thank you so so much for that guys stay glued to the channel if there's something that he said that you need uh, further clarification on just let us know you know we always share knowledge with you so just drop your questions drop your remarks everything we'll read them and get back to you accordingly stay glued to the channel We'll be back with more. Thank you.